United have moved quickly to close the book once and for all. Beckham is staying at Old Trafford, and that's official. I believe the manager has had a meeting with David Beckham. I believe they've sorted things out, and uh, provided David Beckham fits in with the manager's wishes, I hope he's here forevermore. You want him to stay, obviously. Of course we want him to stay. So, peace talks after that much-publicised training ground bust-up seem to have done the trick. Beckham, who was celebrating son Brooklyn's first birthday yesterday, has agreed to spend more time at his Manchester home. But the club has confirmed a new deal for Beckham won't be on the table for at least another year. And there's no contract talks going on with uh, David Beckham uh, at the moment. He's got three years of existing, or three and a half years of existing contract to go, as have a lot of other players. We settled a number of contracts, uh, was it uh, two and a half years ago, and we said to all those players that we uh, organised their contracts with that we would talk to them at the end of the third year of their existing contracts. That is not the end of this season, that is the end of next season. Well, this is the offending article that stirred the Hornets' nest, claiming that Beckham was on his way out of Old Trafford after a secret board meeting, and it forced the club into an angry denial. I can confirm we did have a board meeting. I'm not even sure. I can't even remember that David Beckham was even discussed at that, at that board meeting. You know, my recollection is that he, that he wasn't. So, you know, to say we had a four-hour board meeting just to discuss David Beckham was, uh, is a complete uh, load of nonsense, as is most things I read in the newspaper nowadays concerning David Beckham. United's only concern right now is the victory in France, which will guarantee their place in the quarter-finals of the Champions League.